Last week was definitely an unusual week. An interesting week where bizarre news came to our attention. The year 2023 has just begun. We are only in February, and we can already say that the world is experiencing one of the most amazing events in living memory. I'm talking about the four objects that as of the date I wrote the story, Wednesday, February 15th, the United States has shut down and has not yet identified their origin. But those events have not been exclusive to the United States. Hundreds of UFOs have begun to be seen around the world. A series of coincidences that are worth linking and analyzing. A phenomena has aroused the concern of the authorities of the most powerful countries in the world. Of course, all of this has given rise to an endless number of theories that will surely surprise you. What is this about? Are we in the verge of inevitable alien contact? Or something? Is it just a smokescreen to cover up other much darker and sinister events? Stay with me because in the next few minutes you will know in depth what is happening here. My name is Leonore Clay and this is the darkest secret. Today we present the most amazing and chilling event of 2023. While every effort was made to review the sources from which this video was put together, some of the information presented here may not be accurate. Additionally, in conjunction with official information, personal comments are provided here that may misrepresent the original meaning of the information presented, which is why in no way what you are about to see here should be considered the truth. This video was made with the sole purpose of entertaining and many of the things you are about to know are nothing more than theories or personal appreciations regarding public access news. Therefore, discretion is advised. It is true that from time to time, recordings of unidentified flying objects emerge in various parts of the world. Some, of course, are more explainable than others. But believe me, nothing, absolutely none of that, compares to what has been happening in recent days. Probably something like this has not occurred since the Roswell case. And now, not with just one object shot down, but with four, or maybe even five, that have been shot down both by the United States as well as by Russia and China. Since the beginning of this month, the media around the world have been following the news regarding a string of sightings of unidentified flying objects flying through the airspace of both the United States and Canada. But be careful. We are not talking about the typical phenomena recorded by common people that are quickly forgotten. Here we are in the presence of sightings that are generating a lot of concern within the highest government spheres. So much so that they have even been carrying out military action to, it is said, safeguard the security of those nations. It all started on February 4th when the media began to report that the U.S. military had shut down an alleged surveillance balloon off the coast of South Carolina. There were several photos that normal civilians took of this balloon, immediately revealing that it was human technology. It was then that U.S. President Joe Biden gave the order to bring down the balloon when it was already over the ocean where its remains fell which until now are being examined. There were several witnesses to this event, confirming that the balloon was destroyed after being hit by a missile. In fact, there are images that have been published on social networks showing that moment.
this would only be the first of a series of incidents that would be seen in the days to come. On February 10th, the United States confirmed the fall of a second object that, according to comments, remained static in the sky north of Alaska, and most importantly, according to the authorities, unlike the Chinese balloon, it lacked any system of propulsion or control and was completely far from the appearance of any balloon you have seen. What you will see below are the first photos of that incident. Note that it was taken down, but it was not a balloon since it did not explode as the Chinese balloon did, nor was it destroyed when it hit the ground. This object was built in a surprising way. It slid several miles until it was immersed in the snow. Combat officers who viewed these photographs say it is eerily similar to objects seen in the Nimitz aircraft carrier encounters. In case you don't know, the UFO encounter with that aircraft carrier is one of the most spectacular that exists. The story of what was seen on that occasion coincides with the version that more than a dozen officers declared, and goes like this. The U.S. Navy was carrying out a military exercise near the coast of Mexico. A series of ships followed closely behind the Nimitz aircraft carrier, when suddenly the radars of one of the ships detected a set of strange objects near the island of San Clemente. The radar indicated that it was not a known aircraft due to its structure, speed, and height of the flight, and above all because they suddenly appeared in groups of 5 to 10. The only logical probability of such a situation was the malfunction of the radars. Therefore, they reset them. One of the specialists in charge of the radar was Kevin Day, with 18 years of experience in these situations. He was the first witness to see how these strange objects performed impossible maneuvers for it to be human technology. They were flying too high to be birds and too slow to be a human-made aircraft, and they did not correspond to any commercial flight. Some of these things came down quickly from the sky and landed only 49 feet above sea level. They received direct orders from the Pentagon not to act especially since they disappeared out of nowhere. It was like this for several days until the military exercise required the flight of combat planes. One of the pilots was Lieutenant Colonel Douglas Kurth. He was carrying out the scheduled maneuvers when he received an order from the aircraft carrier. His instruction was to investigate the appearance of a new group of these strange ships that they had seen for days. The pilot was asked if he was carrying weapons, and his answer was no. Everything I'm telling you was recorded in official documents that were revealed to the media when this case became famous. When the pilot arrived at the indicated point, he found nothing. Nothing was visible on the radar either. However, when he looked down, he noticed a kind of turbulence in the water, as if an object had recently been submerged. The strange thing is that sometimes it generates the shape of a cross. Another plane accompanied the lieutenant. They both decided to go around and see the set of bubbles even closer. When they made that maneuver and began to descend, they noticed the strange oval-shaped ship performing erratic maneuvers right over that cross. It was compact, not very big, white and completely smooth. There was nowhere where an engine could be installed. And the strangest thing was the weird movements it made. Impossible for any ship with human technology. One of the planes continued descending in a spiral, getting closer and closer, until the moment in which the UFO stopped and began to rapidly approach the plane. Both of them were now flying in circles. The UFO was going up, 
while the plane was going down. In an effort to get even closer, the pilot made an aggressive move toward the UFO, to which the UFO responded by accelerating to hypersonic speed and then disappearing within a microsecond. As the initial idea was simply a flight exercise, they did not have cameras on them, which is why when they returned to the aircraft carrier and explained what they had seen, they decided to send another ship, now equipped with infrared tracking cameras. A few minutes of flight were enough for another similar object to be detected flying in the sky. The object was so far away that it was invisible to the human eye but it could be recorded by the camera installed on the plane. What you're seeing now is what the cameras on Chad Underwood's plane recorded that day. And the images that are just being published to the public describe something very similar to what was captured that day. The day after this event, that is February 11th, authorities announced the demolition of a new unidentified device over the Canadian territory of Yukon, located about 160 kilometers from the border with the United States. This object, also described as cylindrical, was reportedly at a high altitude, requiring the use of a fighter jet to destroy it. And if the above were not enough, only 24 hours passed for the announcement of the destruction of a new, unidentified flying device. This time, there were several planes that on Sunday, February 12th, shot down a fourth object of unknown origin in the vicinity of Lake Huron. This time, its form was not in oval shape. According to the information emanating from the Pentagon, the device had an octagonal shape that has not yet been examined, so they couldn't provide more details. And as if so many sightings were not enough, during that same week, the story of a person who claimed to have recorded a strange laser from space began to circulate on the Internet. No, don't assume. This is not just a story without evidence. There is a video. What you are seeing was recorded in Hawaii, where mysterious laser-like beams of light lit up the sky one night, a phenomenon that at a time was not very widespread, but due to recent events also became relevant. And no, it is not fake. It's not from a movie. This really happened. As if they were scanning us from space. However, to calm you down in case you thought that we were being invaded, these light turned out to come from one of China's satellites. It was doing a ground scan for 3D maps. China has already stated that referring to the first of these incidents, that is, the spy balloon, has been launched from their territory, and that by mistake it entered North American airspace. What well, clearly put a focus of tension between the administrations of Washington and Beijing. However, of the third subsequent incidents so far, there's no clarity. Could it be a coincidence that there are so many sightings in such a short period of time? There have always been balloons and espionage attempts, but since Roswell, there have been no reports that a UFO had been shot down. And by this, I mean an object that even having its parts fails to be identified. Four unidentified flying objects taken down in the last week? 
Could something like that be a coincidence? Or does its answer go further? Could we be on the verge of an extraterrestrial contact? Why did this happen now and not before? As expected for this type of case in various social networks and internet forums, conspiracy theories did not wait. Being the so-called smoke screens, the ones that have attracted the most attention. Hundreds of people did not buy the UFO story and immediately concluded that it was a diversion. In truth, this usually happens. Much of the population distrusts their government and always suspects double intentions. But if we start to analyze this particular situation, there are indeed pieces of news that the American government perhaps wanted to keep low, exposing the UFO profile. One is a train accident in Ohio that released toxic chemicals both into the air and probably into the water as well. Something that hasn't been in the news much. But most point their darts at one of the loudest scandals in recent times. And I'm referring to the case in which the late millionaire, Jeffrey Epstein, was involved. As you will remember, he and his partner, Glenn Maxwell, formed a true sex trafficking network in which hundreds of youngsters, mostly minors, were involved. A network, according to what is said, protected by great business, political, entertainment, and even royalty personalities, who, according to what was denounced at the time, also formed an active part of this network. Undoubtedly a highly controversial case, although you may be wondering, what does this have to do with the recent UFO incidents? Well, on February 12th of this year, the Daily Mail medium indicated that the complete list of more than 2,000 pages would be released very soon, which would include the names of all those who were part of this great network of abuse people who currently enjoy great power and prestige, who obviously would do anything in their power to prevent this list from being made public. Since 2019, a document has been circulated where some names partially appear, including Kevin Spacey, Bill Gates, Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, Larry Summers, who was the United States Secretary of Treasury in 1999, among many others. However, in that document, the real relationship they had with Epstein is not revealed. They could have flown for business reasons. So at this point, in no way are these names evidence that they've done anything illegal. But according to Daily Mail, access to the real list of the 167 clients that this man had will soon be given. What will be revealed are documents referring to alleged perpetrators or people accused of serious misdemeanors. They included law enforcement officers and prosecutors, according to a statement filed last week. Some say that then to cover up that media information, all this related to sightings was constructed, you know, as a way to divert public attention. There are also some who add to the smoke screen the earthquakes that recently shook Turkey and Syria, that both events are somehow related. Project Bluebeam, among others, resonates on Twitter and other social networks. However, so far it is not something that can be confirmed. But the strange thing about the smoke screen theory is that it would only benefit the United States. The Epstein case or the contamination in Ohio are only things that would affect, for the most part, only that country. Therefore, everything should be a display that strictly involves events in the United States, something that is not the case, since the activity of UFOs not only increase in the United States, but also in all parts of the world. Due to everything that happened between Russia and Ukraine, 
the normal news from Russia does not reach these places. But since January, the destruction of a ball-shaped object that flew at an altitude of about a mile and a half had been in the Russian news over the village of Sultan Salah. A region located along the Sea of Azov, a waterway of strategic value for the war with Ukraine. In fact, some internet users say the sightings of this type have been increasing since the conflict between Russia and Ukraine broke out. China also claimed to have destroyed a UFO a few days ago. But the sightings have not been exclusive to the powers. Sightings in other parts of the world have also flooded my mail during the last weeks. For example, this was captured in the city of Medellin, Colombia. Sightings of this type have also been detected in Mexico. Or also this other, captured in El Salvador. And so they have also happened in other places. It seems that these sightings are not restricted only to the ones with power. There are various places where objects with no known provenance are being seen in the skies. What is your opinion of all these events? What is behind all this? Personally, I think that all this is quite disconcerting. And it is that beyond the conspiracies put forward on social networks, until now there is no information that one qualifies as reliable. Yet, the great increase in UFO sightings everywhere does not stop attracting my attention. Not to mention the photos that are beginning to be published that show things that are far from what they had always displayed to us. Although, as always, I prefer to use common sense and find more realistic, more reliable explanations. And one thing is certain, never before had balloons or spy ships invaded a country in such a way. Therefore, I am more inclined towards everything being a rather delicate military strategy. Perhaps it is all about a strategy that China and Russia are carrying out against the United States. A kind of geopolitical move that seeks to test how efficient their defense systems are. For purposes, perhaps, not peaceful. What are your theories regarding this? Aliens? Smokescreen? A military strategy? Note that these are the three alternatives, and all three are equally disturbing. Let me know what you think, as this video has now come to an end. I'm Leonore Clay, and this was The Darkest Secret.